Your opening in awareness requires that you realize the extent of your actions in this world. To insist that we of the Galactic Federation of Light, of the angelic realms would have you focus on any negativity is a falsehood of your own mind, of your own feeling of reality. We are here to bridge this world, with the higher dimensions, and we have no need to project who we are outside of this moment. This includes promising that you will ascend, when you do not practice inner stillness, kindness, compassion, or peacefulness daily. Do you resonate with what we speak to you now? This is in no way to say that we are not able to assist you, it only means that as the creator of your life, you have the ability to either practice hate, mind-centered living, or grace, consciousness-centered living. We do not promote you going to different timelines in which you will experience wars, see wars at all, those that promote these agendas are clearly of the dark agenda. Are you able to see this clearly now? Would we write to you daily, speak to you daily about peace, if we wanted to take you to a time in war, in chaos? Which role do you have to play, in being a leader, not a follower? This is where we see many starseeds, and light workers reshaping your awareness of why you are here. We repeat, we are not here to bring harm onto your world. Those that are of the dark agenda, are those that secretly plot against you, secretly place more fear into your mind, and then want you to stay centered in your mind. When did ascension become about your mind? As you can see now, that your consciousness is the still presence that exists now on your world. Naturally, most of your world are aware that there is much confusion about the ascension process being spread around now. Are you able to see this is from your own not awakening in your consciousness, to who you are as light, that you live in confusion? We monitor your progress, and are not here to tell you what we do not do, and will not do, we are here only to inform you of what we will do. We will continue to assist you in any way we can. We will continue to help you to see the pathway into the light is not through your thinking. It is through your release of your thinking, that you are able to live in your consciousness. Do you feel it is important to focus your whole life on thinking more, less presence? Do your spiritual leaders talk about stilling your mind for a reason? This is where we leave you to realize the truths that we speak to you now, of the angelic realms, of the galactic federation of light. Those that encourage you to display more thoughts less presence, are encouraging you to stay asleep to your consciousness. As you can see, when you are swimming all of the time, your body becomes tired, and it is then more difficult to stay afloat, when you stop swimming. Are you able to see the reason for this, is that when you live your life centered around thinking, when ascension comes, which requires that you are refreshed, you then become too tired to see this reality come into being. This is where you can release the need to follow those who tell you lies about us of the angelic realms, of the galactic federation of light, informing you about living a life that will project outside of this reality now. Now is your opening into who you are, and this is how this reality is designed. We are not here to judge who will be ascending, and who will not be ascending. We are here to assist all that aim at ascension, into our guiding ways of being, where you will be encouraged to see the light within yourself shine. When you are living mind-centered, you cannot escape judgments, you cannot escape living in doubts, as your mind has been programmed like a remote, by your cabal. Did you not feel you would awaken by more release of the lower dimensional living ways of being, to ascend? Clearly you can see. The reason this is, from your intention to be open to the reality that the old ways of ego-centered living must leave, to make way for consciousness-centered living. This means that you must practice daily, your release from duality, to make ascension possible for yourself. Simply saying in your mind, I choose ascension, will not make ascension your reality. As you can see, anyone would be able to do this. If this was the case, 
including those who cause great destructions, and chaos in your world, and ascend after they are finished with their chaos. We are here of the angelic realms, as the Galactic Federation of Light to assist you into realizing a daily practice of detaching from all ways of chaos, as much as you can. This includes being addicted to violence, addicted to foods that are not natural. This will not stop you from ascending, but it will help to speed up your rising of your vibrations, the more you release the need to feel any sense of comfort from these types of things. Can you sense that we are here to guide you from our realms now of the higher dimensions? Do you feel your ego would handle ascension for you? We trust, as your family of light, that you will start taking what we have to say more seriously, as the days lapse, into the ascension of this earth. We address now those who feel we need followers to feel powerful. Are you able to feel that only those of the dark agenda would need followers to feel important? Can you tell that we see all of you as important, and there is no way to diminish this importance within yourself? Who tells you that you are less, or more important in this world? This is where you are here to awaken to your own divine nature, and express who you are as the light, by your choice. We cannot make these choices for you. We are only here to guide you into why you are here on this world. Upon your own ascension, you will truly be able to time travel, and in a way that is safe. But we will simply not encourage any of you to time travel to places, or a state of hell, which include war times. Do you find excitement in being able to time travel to the battleground of World War I, or II? We inform you that your physical body is still capable of dying, but your soul will always be eternal, in any of your travels in this world, in this life, in this universe. Now we leave you to trust your intuition in these matters, we are your compassionate brothers and sisters from the stars, we are the angelic realms, we are the galactic federation of light.